just wondering, obviously a fantastic win, but also in front of a, a pretty packed crowd down at Sandy Park. So how much sweeter does it does it make a victory like that when you've got that sort of crowd there as well? Yeah, definitely. It's been amazing to have like the whole crowd back. Um, we could definitely hear them um, on the pitch and stuff. Um, but yeah, the support that we've had like um, after lockdown has just been so amazing as well. I think the numbers on the TV um, were really big as well. And um, so just the support and the backing that we've had, it really means so much and really drives us to like want to be better and to have like really good games against really good other nations. Awesome, awesome. And um, on, on kind of that note of, of wanting to play kind of teams at their best, um, news today that, that Wales are going to be uh, contracting some of their players. You play with a lot of Welsh girls um, at Gloucester Hartbury. From your experience as a, as a contracted player, how, how much is that going to change their team and their programme? Yeah, that'll be amazing for them. Just the fact that they don't have to be tired whilst they're training anymore. Um, the fact that they'll have more time to do all those extra little bits that actually like really matter on the field, like the learning side, the the recovery side, like that sort of thing. Like, and that will really like I think we'll see not not straight away, but I think over time we will definitely see a massive improvement and like how much it can actually benefit just being a professional athlete, and especially at this crucial time leading up to the World Cup. Awesome. Thanks very much. Thank you. I just want to follow up on, on some of the other questions there. Um, you, you girls are first in the world and, and obviously you go into any game thinking we've got this, we, 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 we know we can win, but a win against New Zealand's always special. So what point exactly in the game or after the game did it really sink in that you just beat the Black fans? Um, I think it really sunk in once to the clock and there was about 10 minutes left and I, I thought they, they, they can't surely they can't come back from this um, and it was only until I, I, I got subbed and I sat on the bench and saw that that I was like wow we've, we've beat them because um, obviously there's been a massive build up for it we've been working really hard going into the game as well so um, I mean during the game it could have gone either way but there's a history of the Black Ferns coming back after half time really strong and they, they got a good try in straight away with a little kick through and we we always knew that we needed to keep working hard no matter what the score. Um so it's only kind of after, but um even at half time we're saying it's nil nil, it's still nil nil, they can come back. So we need to stay composed and um, go in the game as if as if it's the start. Awesome, thanks. And now uh, looking ahead, you, you probably don't want to look much past this weekend, but um, once you, you deal with the Black Ferns again, uh, you get to play at the Stoop in an England shirt. Now that's your home ground. How special is that going to be? Yeah, it's going to be amazing. I mean, they've done really well with the marketing uh, piece of it. Every time we've played their uh, four quins, there's always been advertisement on the on the board that they've got up, and it's been really exciting and cool to see uh, the the red roses bits. Because I know that even at quins we get good turnout, so um, everyone in Twickenham loves rugby anyway. So it'll be really good. Um, turn out and the, the stadium will feel full and it'll be pumping so yeah I'm, I'm super excited for it. Absolutely and uh, just last one from me you talked about how how Gerard's influenced you your kind of kicking on the run game um, but you've also got Emily Scott there with you at, at Quinn's um, she's a fantastic player how much has, has working with her helped you as well? Yeah, massively. She, she's massively instinctive as well as having such a good rugby brain to be able to you know, be playing 10 and telling players what to do as well as scoring for herself and making try saving tackles as well. So it's been really good working off of her and understanding what she sees in the game as well as what I'm seeing and marrying it up so that when we're both back in the backfield together, we can just hopefully find that sweet spot and just go with it. Um, it's when we're slightly off that we're like, oh God, and we just go with it. So um, yeah, it's, it's been really cool and she's she's a wise head as well as a fantastic player. So it's all been good working with her. Fantastic. Thanks very much and go well on Sunday.